So I've shared different ways to use some of the characters, different effects, different um, different things you could do, and had thought about doing a tutorial on characters if you're new to Create Studio or you just haven't really used them. And then I got a question about um, how to do some things. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of things about how to use characters and what actually is in here. And hopefully that will help you. So if you go to the studio, we already know, or hopefully you already know, that we do have our 3D creator. So I'm going to grab one of those and just put her over here for a minute. We also have a bunch of characters in here. Let's go to the categories. We have a lot of 3D characters, and some of these are some of my favorite characters are in here. Um, so I love the, the 3D character creator, but I still really enjoy all of these as well. Um, Alyssa is my little girl. So I'm going to grab one. I, I like this teacher lady. She's also one of my favorites. There's also a bunch of 2D characters. They have what they call the Supreme. And these have a certain style. And these were way back from the beginning. There's also, this is a more relatively new category, the startup team. And I like those as well. She, she looks cute. So those are another style. Then you also have minimal and I haven't actually used any of those yet and then we have flow and these are kind of fun as well I I like the grandma she's cute she's got some she's got some spunk going there and of course we have bobblehead which I did a tutorial on we have doodle there's these 3d animals um, I haven't used any of those, I don't think, since we came to, th I used to use the bear. I'm going to download that one just to bring it over to show you. Then we have classy. So that's another, uh, that's the category. That's another style. And that started at the beginning. So you want to just look through all of these and then they have the scenes. And I had a tutorial on some of those, so I won't go over it, but these are pre-made scenes that will already, you can use as intros or outros or any other part of your video. All right. The animal, which one did I download? The bird. So that, those are cute little ones as well. So I'll, maybe I'll leave the bird here. It's kind of big. All right. So what do you want to know about characters? First, if you want to access their actions, you just click. They're always going to come either on wave or idle. That seems to be the default um, action. But if you click on the character, you'll get the action list, or if you click on the timeline, and you can just add different actions. So first, our teacher lady, you'll see it's spinning here. That means it's adding the action. So the she's waving, and then she'll go to, what do I have? An idea. She gets an idea. Now, say I want her to do the idea first. This is a delete, so you can get rid of anything you want, such as that. Or if you want it to go, you want her to have an idea first and then wave, which would be weird, but we'll do that. You just grab the three bars, click and drag it up. So whenever you have any kinds of actions, and you want her to walk first, you can just move it right up. And you can do this after you've already put them all on here. So maybe I want her to talk after the idea. So I can just move it that way. You can also do that for any of your other characters like the character creator or the animals or the 
2D characters. So that's your first thing that you want to know that you can do. If you click here, you're going to see the range of actions that are here. They also have a list. They actually have the list of character actions in two places. And I don't have that on a browser right now. I can put the links in the description. So you can just click whatever it is that you want for that. Now, if you click on the label and hold it down, this is going to look different for the 3D create characters, for the 2D characters, for these animals, than it is for the 3D creator. So let me show you first with this. You're going to click and hold where the label is, and you can disable the start and the end of animations. Sometimes that makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. But right here she has an idea, and then she starts to talk. And you can see she kind of goes a little bit jerky there. If I enable the starting again, it'll flow up a little bit more. So I do use those sometimes if I don't need to have that transition between those. So it does come in a lot, it does come in handy. Now for the 2D characters, it looks different. So let me show you again, let me get rid of some of these actions so we're not, I think I just actually just want idle just like Link is doing. So let me add this. Now it's just a short period of time. If you grab, I don't know, right? Let me show you here. See where it turned into a double-sided arrow? If I move down, it's the cursor. Here it's a double-sided arrow. I can click and drag when that double arrow is there to lengthen the action. I can shorten the action and lengthen it that way. So if we look at the bird, this is the default duration. If I click, I can't drag to the left to shorten it anymore. So you can't go smaller than the duration, but you can go longer. If you want to go shorter, you're going to, if you see the two arrows on the end of it, not on the two little nodes there, I can click and cut it. But I'll show you after, it can do weird things. Remember I showed you the, um, the jerkiness when I turn off the, the, I disable the beginning or the end. So I have the teacher lady and Lenka the same duration. So they're idling for the same duration of time. If I go to teacher lady, click, why isn't it clicking? Oh, <laughs> as I do that for like, how long did I do that? Idle is, they don't do much for idle. So there is no disable the start and the end of it. So let me go back to idea. And let me change Lenka to idea so that they have the same action. Now I can click this. And the disable starting and ending shows up. It didn't for idle because it's just a stat, pretty static animate, action. I can disable the starting and look how it gets shorter. And I can click and disable the ending and it gets shorter again. And now the beginning and ending are no longer there. She's just talking the whole time instead of coming from idle and then talk and then having the idea. 
However, when you shorten the 3D creator, you're going to click and hold. I don't want all those other things to come up. Here's where you disable start and end for the th the for Tom and Lenka and any new 3D creators they do. You're going to disable the start, but notice this didn't get shorter. So watch. I disable the start and the end. It doesn't actually shorten the action on the duration of it. I hope that they fix that a little bit because it can get harder. You can't really shorten these actions as well. Um, so for instance, here I showed you, you can shorten it. So say you have them coming off from off screen and you have them walking and you only need a little bit of the walking. Here you can cut off the beginning of it or the end of it while they're off screen. Here with the 3D creator, you can't do it. See how I can't grab it? Here I get my two arrows, here I don't. So you have to get a little bit more creative on how you are using some of their animations. I've always used for our other characters, the disabling, the starting and the ending to make it a little shorter and you can't do that anymore with this. So those are two big differences on that. And the extending is the same, so you're still just clicking and dragging those. The other thing, sometimes she's kind of staring off to the right. Maybe I want her to look more towards her, the teacher. If I click on Lenka and go to properties, I can flip her horizontally. I can also do it vertically, but I don't know why I would want to do that. But I can turn her to be looking in the other direction. Now, with the other 3D and 2D characters, if I click on her, you can see that it actually has a different menu up here than here. Here we have the rotating, and you can also go back to the action. This is another way to get to the action list um, and resetting if you did the rotate. So you don't have up here an option to flip horizontally, but here you do. Let me move her over a little so they don't get stuck there. Right here, I can flip her. This, in case, this is not specific to characters, it's for anything. This would just center. It would center it completely within your canvas if you want that. And that would be for shapes, that would be for as it would be for elements, anything that you have. So let me see, is there anything else that we just want to say very quickly about this? Here is the distortion. I don't know if I would use it too often with a character, but you could um, use those as char for the character as well. Um, I'm, I just clicked Command Z to, to undo what I just did. The only characters that have the rotation are the 3D create the 3D character creators. So I do have a tutorial on that and I can link to that in the description, but very quickly, if I wanted to rotate her, I would highlight her, click rotate, then I can just click and spin. And you can see I'm going to the left and she's going to the right. The reason being, remember, I flipped her horizontally. Now when I go to the right and I go to the left, she's following the right direction. But because I had changed her orientation, it will be different. So just know that if you're, go if you're doing that and you get a little confused, like why is she going the wrong way? That's why. Always remember to turn off rotate when you're done or... If you forget, and now I want to move her closer to the teacher lady, look what happens, because it's still on rotate. I've moved her all over the place. This is reset view, so if you click that, it can go back to what it was. And I think, 
Is that all? I do have a tutorial on changing some of the colors if you want to change colors of clothing. And I have a tutorial that used grandma for that. And if you go, I forgot we had our little bird. The bird will be the same thing if you want to disable start and end, if you want to extend, if you want to go as short as you can. And then if you want shorter, you would have to click and shorten that. So right after I finished, I remembered one thing that was really important that you know, and I do have a whole tutorial about it, but I'm just going to stitch this little piece into the, the rest of the tutorial with the character creators, not with these 3D or the 2D, but with the character creators, you can change their expressions. And that's a super cool thing that they added to it. So let me just come over here for a minute because that keeps bugging me because it's there. So if I click on this, you're gonna see facial expression. Eye blinking is on. I would leave that. That is actually just, um, it's already as part of the characters, but if you, if you lengthen the action, you want to make sure that they're blinking when they should, or they're going to look a little odd. But you have different actions, I'm sorry, facial expressions. You have happy, which she already has, but she also has sad. So you can see she turned a little sad there. Then we also have angry, surprised and confused and there's different ways that you're going to be able to use those and how they would transition i will link to my tutorial on the facial expressions and not go into that completely the right now but the happy is really the default one so she's usually happy <laughs> all right that's just what i wanted to add because i'm sure i forgot something else that was just as important but um, as right after I hit stop, I realized I forgot that. And hopefully this gave you some information that you didn't have. If you already knew this stuff, then you're not watching it anymore anyways. So if you have any other questions about characters, because I feel like there's a few things I'm forgetting to say, but if you have any questions, just write it in the comments down below.